In this video, I will show you how to create a graph within Google Spreadsheet. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my Google Drive, which I have. I'm going to click on Create, and I'm going to click on Spreadsheet. Now, I've already opened one up, so I'm going to go to it, but this is what it would look like. I've already retitled it to Making a Graph. And as you can tell, I've already entered some data that I want to graph. So the first thing I'm going to do is notice I, my column A is going to be my X and my column B is going to be my Y. I'm just going to highlight all the data and then I'm going to insert a chart. I can do that here or I can go here and insert it this way. So either way works. I'm going to use column A as labels. I'm going to pick the chart that I want which I'm going to click scatter and I want this one so I'm going to insert. And so now you can see I've got a, a dots. These are my data points. Uh, my time is 5. At 5, it's at 10 on my X. So now I need to get everything labeled, and I need to draw the line. So I'm going to go to Advanced Edit, and I'm going to click here, and I'm going to change the title. Just label it this, and I'm going to click, and notice it updates it here. If I want to change the color, I just simply go to the palette and change the color. Now I need to label my axes. So notice it says my axis, horizontal axis. I'm going to label that time and we'll put that in seconds. And then I'm going to click to left vertical. Notice it inserted it here. Now I'm going to do my vertical ax axis and label that meters click and notice it's here. Once again, I, if, if I want to change the color, I just simply click on it and change the color. So it makes it very easy to do. So now I want a line that connects all the dots. So I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom and I'm going to click where it says trend line. I'm going to click linear. And so now I have my graph. I'm going to click update. And so there it is. If I want this, I can keep it. If I don't want it, I can click on it. Just click none and the legend goes away or I can reposition it. So let's say I want to know what these data points are. I'm going to come right over here and click on view mode and when I do, all I got to do is hold my mouse over it and it tells me what the data points are for each one of these. So there's that data point 2 and 4 which corresponds to my graph over here. So there's that graph. Well, What happens if I want to put another set of data points on top of this? Well, I've got the same exact data here, so I'm just going to recreate a new graph. And I'm going to go Charts once again, take you through the process again. And I'm going to insert that. And so I'm going to go to Advanced Edit. And once again, I'm going to change the title. So Position, Time Graph. And then I'm going to go down here. I'm not going to change the color. I'm going to change the axis to time. If I can type, evidently I can't. Go to vertical. Just going to go position. All right. And I want that line. So I'm going to go all the way down the bottom once again. I'm going to click linear. So now I want another set of lines. So I'm going to go here to start and notice I've got my data and my select ranges. I'm going to click on this box right here that says select data range. And when I do, it comes up. I'm going to add another range and now I'm going to highlight this data and click OK. So now look at what it did. It gave me all these other dots. I've got gold and red. Well, the red dot is representing my axis my x-axis. So I'm going to come back here. I was already there. I'm going to come back here and now I'm going to scroll down underneath axis and I'm going to go here where it says series. Well, I want to keep the blue, I know that, but I want to get rid of the red. So I'm going to click on the red. I'm going to click here on the color and I'm going to click none and now that goes away. And so now I want I want a line for my yellow so I'm going to click on or my gold click on that, trend line, click linear. And so now I have, click update, and so now I have the graph. 
And if I wanted to put this in another document or on something, all I have to do is copy the chart and then paste it into another document. It makes it very easy to do. So now you can see I have a graph that does my data points. But what happens if I want a curved line? Well, I've got a set of data here. I'm going to go through the process with you one more time. I'm going to give you a, a chart that shows a curved line. So now notice I've got a curved line here. And I'm going to move this over. And this is a, an increase. So once again, I'm going to go to Advanced Edit. And I'm just going to abbreviate. Let's get my left vertical position. Keep forgetting to hit that eye. All right, so now I've got everything in there that I want except for my line. So I'm going to come down here to the bottom, and instead, if I, if I put in a linear line, it's going to give me a line of best fit. And that's not what I want for this graph. What I want for this graph is I'm going to click exponential. And when I click exponential, notice it gives me a nice curved line that takes care of all my data. Uh, sometimes you may need a polynomial, and that changes things a little bit, so play with it to see which, if you just want a particular line on your graph, which one fits your data the best. So in this case, this is the one that I want. I'm going to click update, and so now I have the graph that I, have, that I want with the data.